Here's everything you need to know about the Merlin Bird ID app, my go-to app that will help you identify birds by sound or from your camera with just a few taps of your phone. And make sure to stick around to hear about my favorite features of the app. Whether you're a beginner or an expert birder, Merlin Bird app has got you covered. First, you'll want to download the app from your app store. Then enter your email to create a free account. And make sure to check your email inbox to confirm your email address so the app still works down the road. Next, you'll want to select the bird pack for your local region. This will include all the data related to expected birds to be found in your area, such as text descriptions, photos, maps, and sounds of those species. If you're like me, you'll be purging outdated pictures, videos, texts, and voicemails from your phone so that you can fit the biggest regional bird pack that can possibly be stored on your phone. I know, I've said this before, I might have a birding problem. Family Pictures or Birding App? Let me know your choice or guess mine in the comments below. Next, select your app notification preference while waiting for your app to download. Depending on the previous answer, this might take some time to download. Okay, you've successfully downloaded a bird pack. Now with the app open to the main page, this is the identify question mark on the lower nav bar, we'll be working our way from top to bottom on identification features of the app. We'll thus start first with the sound ID features. The sound ID feature is probably my favorite of the entire app. Not being the best at identifying birds solely by sound, this feature of the app is helpful in bridging that gap. When in a forest, it's helped me countless times to ID a bird higher up in the canopy where I didn't have a good visual which, as mentioned, has helped me twofold. First, to identify the unknown species in the moment, but secondly, and probably more importantly, giving me the confidence in the ID by sound to help learn that specific song or call to heart. For some reason, this is easier for me to learn the auditory part, to have that connection in the field, rather than looking or listening to a specific bird call on the computer or a birding app. To get started with using this feature of the app, go ahead and select the Sound ID banner and press continue through the various descriptional pages. Lastly, hit OK to allow the app to use your microphone when in use. Also, while tapping that OK feature, if you're learning something from this video, make sure to peck that like button down below. As a thanks for doing so, here's a cute picture of my favorite bird species. Once you're done with those steps, you should be all set to ID sounding birds around you. The app will then listen for calling birds from your phone's microphone, so it's best for the app and for the birds if you're quiet when recording. As the app's IDing sounding birds, a picture and name of those birds will pop up below the sound bar. At this point, once a bird has been identified, you can either select Stop to have the recording of the bird on your phone, which you can then listen to at another time, or simply press Cancel. I'll generally press Cancel when I'm simply trying to ID a bird, just because I don't usually want more data stored on my phone. But it's up to you. Either way, this is my favorite feature of the whole app. This has really taken my birding game up a notch. But make sure to stick around to the end and hear about the app's best feature for new birders. Another, more traditional approach to visual bird identification is to use a dichotomous key. And the step-by-step -step ID method is a smart version of that same technique. It just uses your phone's GPS location and date of observation to help guide you to the bird you're trying to identify. Here, let's test it out with a hypothetical observation of a yellow rumped warbler. First, you want to select the step-by-step -step banner and enter your location. With data from eBird, Merlin knows what birds are likely to be in your area. Next, choose the date of your observation and follow the prompts to select other key characteristics of the bird you observed. Select the appropriate size of the bird. Is it big or small? In our case, I'll select small. Next, choose what color the bird is, selecting up to three colors. I'm just going to select yellow to see how good the features really are. And lastly, choose an option for what the bird was doing, the behavioral component. I'll select the option for eating at our feeder, since we've had a few at our platform feeder lately. Merlin will then narrow down the possibilities, creating a list for you. As you can see, several birds are listed, including our hypothetical warbler. I bet if I chose more colors originally, a shorter list would have been generated. However, as you can see, this can be extremely helpful while in the field if you need to narrow down your search to a few select species, and certainly helpful if the bird is not calling and you can't use the app's sound ID features. Lastly, once you confirm your observation from the list, Select the bird's picture, as the app has specific details about each bird, including an in-depth description, pictures, sound, and range maps, which is super awesome and amazingly helpful for inclusion in a free app. And now for that amazing feature for new birders and bird watchers. What if you're still not quite sure about your observation? No worries. Just snap a photo, and Merlin will analyze it for you. From how the bird is standing to the color pattern of its wings, the Merlin app will provide you with a list of possible matches. Let's try this with a picture of a mountain chickadee from the computer. 
First, from the main app page, select the Photo ID banner and then take photo. Next, allow the app to access your camera. Take your picture and then allow the app to add pictures to your phone. Select Next if you're happy with the picture and then confirm the location and date of the photo. And then select Identify. A list of possible birds will be generated. And in our example, the app is spot on with its identification of our chickadee. Now this feature is super helpful for beginners, but a feature I've used more frequently in the Photo ID banner is the Choose Photo option. If you're like me and you have friends or family that know you're a birder, then it's only a matter of time before you receive a text from them with a grainy photo of a bird, asking you what it is. If it's not obvious, then this is where this feature has really come in handy for me. Check out this real life example. First select the Photo ID banner, then choose Picture. Allow the app to access your photos and select the photo. Zoom into the bird so it fills the box frame and then select Next. Then confirm the date and location which should already be generated from the photo data. Then select Identify and a list of possible birds will be generated. And in this example, the apps identified the bird as a long-billed curlew, which was my initial guess. A few other options are listed as well. Some additional perks of the app include an explore page where you can search and select any bird from the bird pack to learn more about. These include the same in-depth descriptions, pictures, sound, and range maps mentioned before, and this can be found on the left side of the lower nav bar. Continuing to navigate to the right on the nav bar, you will then find the life list button where if you have an account, you can create and maintain your coveted life list for birds you've observed. Who knows when you'll see that next life lister. Last but not least, you'll find that all-important setting tab on the far right side of the nav bar. This is where you can sign into your account, select a new bird pack, toggle the scientific names of birds in your search and possible bird list, and select how and where you want to record your observations, if at all. So what are you waiting for? Embark on your own birding adventure with the Merlin Bird ID app and unlock the confidence of bird identification. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to watch this next video to up your backyard bird feeding game. Happy birding!